Hello everyone. How are you all my dear students? I hope you all are fine and enjoying your studies well. So my dear students, as you all know, we are doing revision for FA3 exam. So, in a previous video, what we have completed? Yes, in a previous video, we have completed lesson number 7, The God Adventure, prayer book notes. Okay. So, from today we are going to start poem number 8, Adventures of Isabel. Adventures of Isabel. So, first we will learn textual things, textual poem and then we will learn prayer book notes. Okay. So, let's begin our today's session with a beautiful quote. So, let's see. The only difference between a good day and a bad day is your attitude. The only difference between a good day and a bad day is your attitude. Now, let's see the poem. Poem number 8, Adventures of Isabel. Adventures of Isabel. So let's see. All of us are scared of something or the other. All of us are scared of something or the other. But Isabel knows no fear. But Isabel knows no fear. Read the poem about the adventures that Isabel experiences and how she overcomes them. Read the poem about the adventures that Isabel experiences and how she overcomes them. Let's read the poem. Isabel met an enormous bear. Isabel met an enormous bear. Isabel, Isabel didn't care. Isabel, Isabel didn't care. The bear was hungry. The bear was ravenous. The bear was hungry. The bear was ravenous. The bear's big mouth was cruel and covenous. The bear's big mouth was cruel and covenous. The bear said Isabel. The bear said Isabel, glad to meet you. The bear said Isabel, glad to meet you. Now it's your turn to read. Okay, it's student's turn to read. So now let's read with me. Isabel met an enormous bear. Isabel, Isabel didn't care. The bear was hungry. The bear was ravenous. 
the bear's big mouth was cruel and cavernous the bear said isabel glad to meet you now let's see the meanings enormous means huge enormous means huge ravenous means very hungry ravenous means very hungry cavernous means very large and dark cavernous means very large and dark now let's read the next stanza how do isabel now i will eat you how do isabel now i will eat you isabel isabel didn't worry isabel isabel didn't worry isabel didn't scream or scurry isabel didn't scream or scurry she washed her hands and she straightened her hair up she washed her hands and she straightened her hair up then isabel quietly at the bear up then isabel quietly at the bear up now it's whose turn to read yes it's students turn to read okay so now let's read with me how do isabel now i will eat you isabel isabel didn't worry isabel didn't scream or scurry she washed her hands and she straightened her hair up then isabel quietly at the bear up now let's read the last stanza once in a night as black as pitch once in a night as black as pitch isabel met a wicked old witch isabel met a wicked old witch the witch face was cross and wrinkled the witch face was cross and wrinkled the witch gums with teeth were sprinkled the witch gums with teeth were sprinkled ho ho isabel the old witch crowd ho ho isabel the old witch crowd i will turn you into an ugly toad i will turn you into an ugly toad isabel isabel didn't worry isabel isabel didn't worry isabel didn't scream or scurry isabel didn't scream or scurry she showed no rage and she showed no rancor she showed no rage and she showed no rancor 
but she turned the witch into milk and drank her but she turned the witch into milk and drank her now it's who's turn to read yes it's student's turn to read it's your turn to read okay now read with me once in a night as black as pitch isabel met a wicked old witch the witch face was cross and wrinkled the witch gums with teeth were sprinkled ho ho isabel the old witch crowd i will turn you into an ugly toad isabel isabel didn't worry isabel didn't scream or scurry she showed no rage and she showed no rancor but she turned the witch into milk and drank her now let's read the meanings scurry means move fast with small quick steps scurry means move fast with small quick steps pitch pitch means a thick black sticky substance pitch means a thick black sticky substance cross cross means looking angry cross means looking angry crowd crowd means spoke very proudly crowd means spoke very proudly red red means a strong feeling of anger red means a strong feeling of anger rancor rancor means deep hatred or anger rancor means deep hatred or anger so now it's your turn to read okay it's student's turn to read so now read with me scurry means move fast with small quick steps pitch a thick black sticky substance cross means looking angry crowd means spoke very proudly red means a strong feeling of anger rancor means deep hatred or anger now let's see some information about the poet the poet's name is frederick odgen nash so let's see frederick odgen nash born in 1902 died in 1971 1971 Frederick Odgen Nash was a popular American poet best known for his humorous poetry Frederick Odgen Nash 
was a popular American poet best known for his humorous poetry. His first collection of poems had lines published in 1931 became an immediate success. His first collection of poems had lines published in 1931 became an immediate success. In the 1950s, he spent most of his time writing poetry for children. In the 1950s, he spent most of his time writing poetry for his children. Some of his well-known works include Custer and Company, Candy is Dandy and Versus. Some of his well-known works include Custer and Company, Candy is Dandy and Versus. Now, let's see fair book notes. Which is the first topic in the fair book? The first topic is hard words. Hard words. So, let's see hard words. Number one. F E A R. Fear. F E A R. Fear. Number two. A D V E N T U R E. Adventure. A D V E N T U R E Adventure Number three I S A B E L Isabel I S A B E L Isabel Number four E X P E R I E N C E S Experiences E X P E R I E N C E S Experiences Number five E N O R M O U S Enormous E N O R M O U S Enormous Number six R A V E N O U S Ravenous R A V E N O U S Ravenous. Now I am repeating these hard words. Number one, fear. Number two, adventure. Number three, 
Isabel. Number four, experiences. Number five, enormous. Number six, ravenous. Now, number seven, cavernous. Now, let's see the next hard word. That is, hard word number eight. Hard word number eight. S C A R E D Scat S C A R E D Scat Number nine S C U Double R Y scurry S C U double R Y scurry then number ten P I T C H pitch P I T C H pitch number eleven C R O double S cross C R O double S cross number twelve W R I N K L E D wrinkled W R I N K L E D wrinkled number 13 S P R I N K L E D sprinkled S P R I N K L E D sprinkled now i'm repeating this number 8 scad number 9 scurry number 10 pitch number 11 cross number 12 wrinkled number 13 sprinkled now next hard word that is hard word number 14 c r o w e d crowd c r o W E D crowd number fifteen U G L Y ugly U G L Y ugly number sixteen S C R E A M scream. S C R E A M scream. Number seventeen. R A N G E wrench. R A N G E wrench. Number eighteen, R A N C O R, rancor. R A N C O R, rancor. Now I am repeating these hard words. Number fourteen, crowd. Crowd. Number fifteen, ugly. Ugly. Number sixteen, scream, scream. 
नंबर सेवेंटीन रेंज एंड नंबर एटीन रैंक और सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स रिपीट ऑल द हार्ड वर्ड्स अगेन सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ य सो फर्स्ट वी हैव रीड द पोएम वी रीड द फुल पोएम आफ्टर दैट वॉट वी हैव डन वॉट वी हैव लर्न आफ्टर रीडिंग द पोएम एंड मीनिंग्स वी हैव सीन सम इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द पोएट अबाउट द पोएट आफ्टर दैट we learn hard words so i'm going to repeat all the hard words so if you have missed anything you can note it down okay so let's see hard words number 1 fear fear number 2 adventure adventure number 3 isabel isabel number 4 experiences experiences number 5 enormous enormous number 6 ravenous ravenous number 7 cavernous cavernous then let's see the next hard word that is hard word number 8 scared scared number 9 scurry scurry number 10 pitch pitch number 11 cross cross then number 12 wrinkled wrinkled number 13 sprinkled sprinkled number 14 let's see what is the number 14 number 14 crowd crowd number 15 ugly ugly number 16 scream Green. Then number seventeen, range, range. Number eighteen, rancor, rancor. So my dear students, today we will do till here only. So what we have learned today? Today we have completed revision of the poem number eight, the adventures of Isabel. so we learn the full poem from the textbook and after that we revise hard words from the fair book okay so we will meet in our next session with the leftover parts of fair book notes of poem number 8 okay i hope you all enjoyed today's session and regarding today's session if you are having any doubts feel free to message me on my whatsapp number we will meet in our next session with the next topic till then take care of yourself bye bye